Hey everyone. So I got this question from a friend of mine who is currently a data scientist and asks this question um, during interviews. So it has a few parts, but it's kind of a warm-up question. So anyway, the question is, suppose you have a bucket with 500 coins. 499 of them are normal coins, but one of them is a double-headed coin. Uh, you pick a coin randomly from this bucket and you flip it five times. If you picked the normal coin, what would be the probability of flipping five heads? So the question is, what's the probability that you get, I'll say, five heads uh, if you pick the normal coin? So this is going to be equal to the probability that you flip a head uh, after picking the normal coin times the probability that you flip another head if you have the normal coin times and so on. And we do this five times. So this will be the probability that you flip a head since you picked the normal coin um, to the power of five. And at this point you might ask just to clarify, so the normal coin that means that the probability of a head is 0.5 to which the interviewer will say yeah 0.5 50-50 chance. And uh, so this will be 0 0.5 to the power of 5 or 1 over 2 to the 5 which is 1 over 32. So there's a few ways to arrive at this answer. One of them is kind of applying the AND rule here, saying it's the probability of flipping a head and another head and another head so on until you have five heads. Another way of arriving at this answer is uh, seeing that the number of heads is going to be distributed binomial uh, with probability p, and we know we're flipping the coin five times, and those five have to be heads. So the question is, what is this p? And if we have the normal coin, um, then this is 0 0.5. So at this point, you feel like you're doing pretty well. And then the interviewer asks a follow-up question. What is the probability of flipping five heads? So this question is a bit different but it's testing whether or not you know the law of total probability. The probability that you get five heads can be broken down into the probability that you get five heads if you pick the normal coin times the probability that you pick the normal coin plus the probability that you get five heads if you picked uh, the not normal coin times the probability of picking the non normal coin which we have all the information that we need in the original question to answer this. So uh, this first part, the probability of five heads if you pick the normal coin, uh, is what we found in the previous question. So it's 0 0.5 to the power of 5. The probability that you pick the normal coin uh, is going to be 499 out of 500. And that's because of the 500 coins, 499 of them are normal. and the probability that you get five heads if you uh, don't pick the normal coin is that probability of a head for each flip uh, to the power of the number of times that you flip it uh, times the probability of the non-normal coin, which is the probability that you get that one non-normal coin out of the 500 total coins. And again, the thing that this question is testing you on is whether you know the law of total probability. So you breeze through this question, you feel like you're doing pretty well. And then the interviewer asks a final follow-up question, which is, what is the probability that you picked a normal coin after flipping five heads? So to answer this question, uh, we need Bayes' theorem. So how to set up this question is that we're looking for the probability uh, that you'd pick the normal coin after you saw five heads when you flipped it five times. So this is going to be equal to the probability that you got five heads uh, if you pick the normal coin times the initial probability of picking that normal coin over the probability that you got five heads. Which, uh, as we saw in the previous part of the question, thank you to the interviewer for breaking this down, is... the probability that um, you'll get five heads from the normal coin times the probability that you pick the normal coin 
plus the probability that you get five heads oops, from the not normal coin times the probability that you actually have uh, the not normal coin. And again, uh, in this question we have kind of all the pieces that we need, so now we just plug them in. So that probability of five heads, uh, if you pick the normal coin, is what we saw earlier, is 0.5 to the fifth times the probability of the normal coin, uh, which was 499 out of 500. And the same thing on the bottom. 0.5 to the fifth times 499 out of 500 plus uh, 1 to the fifth times 1 out of 500. And usually just setting this problem up in an interview will be good enough. They're not really going to expect you to solve this. So yeah, the only thing that you really need to know to answer this question uh, is Bayes' theorem. So there we go. We just breezed through the very first interview question walkthrough. Uh, if you breeze through it this quickly in an interview, uh, you might get some more follow-up questions which get a little bit trickier, and I'll cover those in videos that I'll be releasing soon.